What's shaking, everybody? This teen and this guy back at you again with another shaking or not shaking video. Today, we're going through another food item from the previous night before. And we have country fried steak centered directly from the house of this guy. Now, why did we go for an item at home today? I simply wanted to try an item from home just to show you guys the spectrum of how we're rating everything on shaken or not shaken. I also last video forgot to say if it was shaken or not shaken. And those noodles were definitely shaken. Okay. <laughs> now, today we're going to taste a bite. We have our purple Kool-Aid here in a orange cup. We also have this dog in the background being very loud for no reason and that's okay now <laughs> let's dive straight into it we know there's people outside all righty country fried steak from the house of this guy going down the hatch hey this teen does it taste like steak because it's pork <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. Now, just one second to chew this down so I can answer the questions. Mm -hmm. This isn't name brand Kool Aid, but it's good. Now, the dish. Amazing, spectacular. It was originally served with macaroni and cheese and fried cabbage. I was too lazy to heat those ones up. But we heated this one up. The only complaint that I have is it's entirely too hard. And you can guess why that is, because it was put in the microwave. Ha! <laughs> After a night of rest. And um, apologize for the late upload, but that's okay. We're changing it from Fridays to Saturdays now. So every Saturday, expect a shaken or not shaken episode from this team and this guy. Now, there's a real sense of glory here that you get from eating country fried pork, not steak. <laughs> and it's that you're on top of the world. Now, usually you go to any place to eat this. It'd be way too salty, way too peppery. But right here, I think it's just right. And I'm having a hard time grabbing it with the fork because, again, it's microwave. But it really is good. And you get a close-up shot there of everything, all the contents in there. Not that you can really tell what's in there, but it does look amazing. The presentation of the dish is 10 out of 10. You see we got the paper plate. Drop the knife on our stomach. <laughs> it's another great thing about it. And, uh, yeah. Now, uh, I wanted to really show you guys the spectrum. Last time we did noodles, and that was amazing. This time we're doing pork, fried pork. Um, it's a pork chop, actually, if you didn't know. And, uh... That one last time was a 9.7, I believe, 9.6. It was 9.2 last week. 9.2, 9.2. Yes, 9.2 last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one, hmm. I think I give it a 9. Only the, it's only a 9 because of the contents. You know, there's not anything else on the side. And that's, again, my fault. So, I'll give it a 9.5. Because the amount of effort put behind this dish and the way it was presented to me on this beautiful paper plate with the blue and the gray in the back. It's amazing, okay? Not only that, all this is meat here. It's just really hard to grab with the circumstances I put the meat under. It's not all bone. That's amazing. So, yeah, give it a 9.5. Is it shaken or not shaken? It's definitely shaken. Now, 
Like I said, expect a video, shaking or not shaking, every Saturday from this team and this guy. Maybe late sometimes, but we try to keep that out of the schedule. And uh, yeah, now uh, this team and this guy are out.